Okay, so this is a demonstration of the LDAP enhancements in release 5.0 of DC Track, and this is accessible from admin appliance settings. So we have our LDAP server settings. And one uh, difference that you'll notice right away is now we have the ability to have multiple uh, server configurations. Here uh, we have the ability to enable or disable LDAP feature for all of the uh, servers that we've configured. We've got the ability to add a server, initiate a search. There's some common settings that will be applied uh, to all of the servers. So first, let's take a look at the settings uh, for uh, the first server that we have configured. And in the general uh, settings area, we see that the first thing that we have is the option to indicate what type of server. We have option for Active Directory or for a generic LDAP server. And the difference is the default attributes that will be applied later on in the configuration. Also, we can enable or disable individual servers uh, when we have more than one uh, configured. The next section is uh, for the connection and in this case since this is an active directory uh, we have the domain or uh, alternatively in, in certain uh, user environments uh, users prefer to uh, have an explicit uh, host name or IP address for a specific domain controller that they want to authenticate uh, users against so that's what this option allows us to do and the next section is whether we want to have communications encrypted uh, and what port uh, should be used. Finally, whether we want to use the uh, certificate on the server uh, strictly for the purposes of encryption or whether we want to validate all of the uh, certificate attributes including host name and validity period as well as the uh, recognized uh, sign, uh, certi certification authority. So that's the section for connection. Then uh, we get into the bind section and here we're indicating the base uh, uh, DN for where we're going to initiate uh, searches and where we would locate our users. Here this is the login name attribute and we see that the default value uh, which corresponds to Active Directory of same account name has been pro uh, populated, although we can edit it. And then there's a search filter to help narrow down the uh, scope of our search and make our searches more efficient. This is uh, user configurable as well. This is the default that's provided. And then we have the search scope. Uh, and here we've got options for whether we want to go one level down or search the entire subtree uh, starting with the uh, base that was uh, specified for the search. We have an option to enable or disable following referrals as they're uh, provided uh, back uh, from the uh, server. And then we've got options for how it is that we want to uh, authenticate when we're initiating our searches. So we've got uh, anonymous, if anonymous bind is supported on the server. No search in, uh, indicates that uh, we're not going to be using a service account uh, when we're uh, conducting searches, but rather we're going to be using the credentials that are provided by the user on login. And then use admin credentials as is configured here is where we're setting up a service account and this is the uh, DN of that admin service account and the password. So this is the bind section of the settings. The next section of the settings is really uh, the, the heart of the improvements, the enhancements that were done in 5.0 to support groups and the import of groups into DC Track from uh, LDAP. So now, uh, by uh, using groups for authorization, then uh, what we're doing is basically we have the ability to import groups, once we've imported groups, we can indicate whether we want to synchronize the group members automatically. So that way we don't have to worry about managing the users individually. Basically, once those groups are imported, 
into DC track and the synchronization is automatically done as new members are added to those groups they'll be added into DC track as members are moved between groups that group membership uh, the updates uh, will be reflected in DC track as well and then when uh, members are removed from groups they will also be removed from the groups in DC track so here uh, we also have the uh, option to specify where we would like the search for groups uh, to uh, begin so if we uh, want to have a uh, base DN for that search that's different than the user uh, we'd be able to specify that here and then again the attributes that we would use for the groups and here we're using a default of uh, uh, the SAM account name the member attribute is member and the object class for the filter here is group but again this is user configurable so we can use this to narrow uh, the scope of our searches and make the uh, search more efficient and uh, similar to the uh, scope uh, for the search we have the ability to indicate whether we want one level or the entire subtree now another uh, feature that's been added here is this test connection so uh, once we have our configuration set up we can use a test account and uh, some credentials to, to test out our setup. And in this case, uh, we're, we're able to basically just verify that in fact uh, our uh, settings are configured correctly using our test account. So that's, uh, that's how you uh, set up your uh, server. Uh, the uh, LDAP server uh, is very similar. It just basically populates the uh, settings with the default attributes that would be used for uh, open LDAP configuration. So now uh, one of the things that we can do once uh, we've got our servers configured is we can initiate a search. And here uh, we can uh, select our users uh, or we can uh, search for groups. So in this case, uh, we're going to search for groups and we're going to go back to that same server that we were just looking at, again, using our stored admin credentials. Here's the base DN information and filter that was specified previously. So now we've gone to uh, Active Directory. We're uh, returning the list of groups and we see that some of these groups have already uh, been added into DC track so we've got the viewers members managers gatekeeper groups from our example that have been added to DC track we can click on one of the groups and then scroll down to see uh, who the members of that group are and so they're really uh, two modes of operation uh, you can think of an explicit mode of operation, which is how uh, the LDAP configuration operated in, in release 4.0, where we are actively searching for users and then saying, I want to add this user uh, into DC track. So that's the explicit mode. And you still can do that. You can search either by user or search by group and then specify that you want to add a, a user uh, into DC track. Or there's an, the automatic mode, which is where we're going to be really importing groups, and then we're going to be syncing uh, the members of, of the groups into the groups that have been imported into DC Track. So this last section here under common settings is really where we set this up where uh, we're going to uh, one, we can enable or disable the LDAP module functionality. We can also uh, indicate uh, when we're conducting a search if we want to uh, basically cap the number of results that would be returned. And here is where we're going to enable LDAP sync. Whether we want to sync the group members, this is basically where we've got the automatic synchronization of the, the user group members based on, on the user groups that have been imported. And then we can specify a sync interval. 
So uh, the synchronization of the users and the group uh, is done opportunistically. So whenever they log in, we are going to inspect uh, their information and user group membership information to determine if there's been any changes there. And also, if uh, there hasn't been an update or a synchronization hasn't occurred within the specified interval, then uh, once that interval expires, we will uh, uh, communicate with uh, the LDAP server and, and synchronize the objects that have been uh, imported into DC Track. And then, of course, there's the Sync Now option so that you can do it on demand as well. So that's a, a, a summary of the enhancements uh, that are available in a release 5.0. Uh, from the uh, point of view of uh, support for the existing uh, method uh, of adding users into DC Track, uh, that's still uh, available uh, for those uh, who were 4.0 users. So you'll see that this hasn't really changed at all. You still have the ability uh, to go out search for users and you get the list of users and still have the ability to explicitly indicate uh, whether you want to import them or not. Of course, in a, a uh, user environment, they would either be working in an explicit mode or in the automatic 